Well, Shamai everyone, I hope you've had a really good day today. And today, I've, it's a really big book, isn't it? It's called, our story today is called Where's My Teddy? I haven't read this one for ages. I forgot I had it and it was in my cupboard. And it's actually written, written by Jez Albra. And as you can see, there's a huge teddy bear. Uh, sorry, a huge real bear with a huge teddy bear. But he isn't a very brave bear. Look, where do you think this story's taking place? Down in the forest. It's a bit like the when the the song, if you go down to the woods today. Eddie's off to find his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. Now this story can make Mrs. Richards a little bit tongue-tied. Here's Eddie. He's off back into the forest to find his teddy bear. Now then I can see that my screen, let's see if that's a bit darker. I was going to think my light is playing up tonight. He lost him in the woods somewhere. It's dark and horrible in there. Help, said Eddie. I'm scared already. I want my bed. I want my teddy. I don't think I'd like to go into there on my own either. He tiptoed on and on until something made him stop quite still. Look out, he thought. There's something there. What's that? A giant teddy bear. Is it Freddy? said Eddie. What a surprise. How did you get to be this size? He really has grown, hasn't he? You're too big to huddle and cuddle, he said, and I'll never fit both of us into my bed. Wow, I wonder if there's magic in this forest. Then out of the darkness, clearer and clearer, the sound of a sobbing came nearer and nearer. Soon the whole world, the whole, Mrs Richards, soon the whole wood could hear the voice bawl. How did you get to be tiddly and small? You're too small to huddle and cuddle, it said, and you'll only get lost in my giant-sized bed. <gasps> Eddie is astonished. He could hear something talking about a tiny teddy bear. <gasps> it was a gigantic bear and a tiddly teddy stomping towards... Can you see the tiddly teddy? The giant teddy and Eddie. <gasps> Look at his face. He's dumbfounded. He's gobsmacked. Because he's thinking, hang on, there's my bear. So whose is this bear? My Ted, gasped the bear. A bear, screamed Eddie. A boy, yelled the bear. My Teddy, cried Eddie. Look, he's just as scared as Eddie, as Eddie is of him. Then they ran and they ran through the dark wood back to their homes as quick as they could. All the way back to their snuggly beds where they huddled and cuddled their own little Teds. Where did he go? And that's the end. So we had Eddie, a little boy, and his Teddy, whose name was Freddy. Then we had a gigantic bear and his gigantic teddy bear. So there were only four characters in that book, weren't there? But you know what I was surprised at? I didn't know bears could talk. <gasps> he was a talking bear in this book, wasn't he? So I think, seeing as it's the end of the school day, we'd better do our goodbye song. Barod, in, die, tree. Hoyle vow, friend yai, hoyle vow, friend yai, hoyle vow, friend yai, mine amser dweet, hoyle vow, to relura pantany, 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 to relura pantany, mine amser dweet, hoyle vow. See you all tomorrow with a new story, hoyle vow, friend yai.